Hello, welcome to or welcome back to No Pants Profits. My name is Richard and I'm coming to you today from Las Vegas. Specifically, I am in the Flamingo Hotel. Why? Because I like the location of that. We're going to be doing a very interesting challenge. I'm here tonight. Kirsten, channel favorite, comes in tomorrow. Uh, and we are going to be taking $2,500, playing a new roulette strategy, and having fun on the profits. I mean, hopefully profits, because you can't beat roulette. But right before this video, and I'll link it here, I made a whole video on a roulette. Now, I just got to the hotel. It's literally 11.56 p.m. Fortunately, my flight out here was free. I'll talk about that later. My stay in the Caesars property, free. Weird property, but uh, for some reason, it looks like a very classy dungeon. Um, uh, and uh, I'm not counting the Uber, but from here on out, I have $2,500 in cash to make profit on and then spend it on. One other note, I do have $500 in show credit that I got during Black Friday on a promotion from Vegas.com. But elsewise, either on this channel or on this video, or I might have to bring some spy glasses into play because we're going into casinos. I'm gonna show you everything. But the thing is, I have one hour and three minutes to go get dinner. And you know why I chose the Flamingo? There's an In-N-Out burger, literally, right downstairs and around the corner that closes at 1 a.m. So I'm gonna take my $2,500 in $100 bills, put them in my wallet, see what we can profit. We're gonna use a couple different roulette strategies and I'll talk to you on the glasses because they really don't like me pulling out the camera. This is Richard from No Pants Profits, day one in Vegas with our gambling challenge and we're just gonna spend, uh, we're just gonna spend what we can win. So this could be either a really good trip or a really bad trip. So stay tuned, day one, just me. We'll go out, look around tonight, go to Ellis Island, go a couple other places, and then tomorrow, Kirsten arrives, and the real fun gets going. Here we go. Let's go to in and out and see where we go from there. So about two minutes after that last clip, I'm already out to the Strip. It's one of the reasons I really, 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 really like to stay at the Flamingo. If you were to stay across the street at the better known Caesars property, Caesars Palace, it takes you about 25 minutes to get from your room to the strip. No bullshit, you gotta walk through the whole casino. Uh, I actually don't have to walk through any of the casino to get to my room because I happen to be in a spa room. I didn't choose that, but it's literally, there's elevators right by the monorail. I don't have to walk through any casino to get to the strip, to get to the monorail. Hey, I love casinos, don't get me wrong, but literally a two minute walk, two minutes. From the Flamingo, we've got, yes, that, an in and out burger. And yes, they're open until 1 a.m. So I am going to, this is the Flamingo, or it ends right here. This is the link. And literally right down here behind the candy bar, which Kirsten has said, we must go to. So we'll probably be at the candy bar tomorrow night if my gambling goes as expected, uh, is in and out burger open till 1 a.m. I'm not super hungry, but I do want some cheap eats. I will probably be in Ellis Island later tonight, but um, in and out burger, it's like $4 for a cheeseburger. You get it however you want. Um, love it. Uh, and it's just, see there's the big wheel. There's the actual exit to the Flamingo, as weird as that sounds. My other room I was in before is actually technically, technically slightly closer. Uh, I actually didn't take the uh, most direct route to In-N-Out Burger. So I added an extra minute and a half to my commute, but we're gonna go grab some In-N-Out. We'll be In-N-Out real quick, and then we'll do some gambling on these glasses, baby, because I'm not taking this out. It's a little tiny camera, but I'm still not taking it out in a casino. I don't need those problems. Stay tuned. We'll be right back in and out. All right, so there is a little line here. The good news is the line moves very, very quickly here. It's right next to an ice bar. It is a Tuesday night in Las Vegas. Not a lot of stuff's open, but in and out is always a pretty good thing. And I live in South Florida. We don't have in and out. So a quick in and out run and then probably a, a White Castle stop a little bit later. Um, but yeah, so this is the Link Promenade. That's where the Link Ferris wheel is and all the other stuff like that. 
Uh, but I'm going to have to uh, put this money in my pocket and I'm going to have to swap it out later with hopefully some winnings from that 2500 So uh, let me get in and out and get back to you. All right, so that line was not very long. I got a double In-N-Out burger and a cup that I put in my bag and I used for the whole week. Shh, don't tell anyone. I get one from In-N-Out Burger and one from White Castle. $9.10, so I gotta make $9 before I start making money. $9.10 before I start making money. I wasn't able to use cash, I had to use card, but I am gonna take that out of the 2500. Uh, but In-N-Out Burger, right there. Um, and uh, we're gonna go, we're gonna go gambling. I met some people in line that didn't know anything about Vegas, so I, I schooled them on Vegas, told them where I'm going tonight, and told them what shows to see and everything like that. So, um, definitely follow along. This is gonna be seven days, eight days, who knows what it's actually gonna turn out being. Uh, but I'm gonna take you along every step of the way. All right, so I am leaving in and out with my in and out cuff. Trust me, it's going in the backpack, I'm sorry. You could say no pants is cheap, but when I got an In-N-Out right here, I like to reduce, reuse, and recycle. Here's the thing. I can't take you the next few places I'm gonna go, but I'm gonna take you there with these. You see, you might've seen some of my content so far. And what you'll see is you'll see that little light right there. These are, are glasses with embedded video cameras in them. And what this is gonna allow me to do, is it's gonna allow me to show you a little bit about roulette and how I do this. Again, I've got $9.10 to make up since I got to Vegas. I'm not counting the Uber from the airport, but since I actually got to Vegas, and I do appreciate that there's a very high uh, police presence here. So, nothing goes wrong. That's all we like. But yeah, here's the Flamingo in and out right behind us. Uh, and a lot of police presence, which is not a bad thing. It's a good thing. It's a quiet. Monday night, not Tuesday night, sorry. Let's say it was Tuesday night. I could say it was Tuesday night earlier. It's Monday night in Vegas. Uh, and uh, like I said, about this time Monday night, I will be flying out back to Miami in a week. But we got seven days here in Las Vegas. And you know what's amazing is it's after midnight and the ice cream shop's still open and a lot of stuff is still open here, uh, even on a Monday night. But uh, I'm gonna jump in the Link Hotel and play some roulette. So I'll catch ya on the other side. All right, so what we're doing is we're putting $2.50 on each of those dozens. So um, essentially we've got a 63.1% chance of hitting. There's some other metrics to this game, but that's pretty much it. So if we hit here, then we make 250. If we don't hit here, then we double. And then we double again. So we'll see. It's a long ass spin. And it's a gold ball. Come on, gold ball. 34. So that is going to be a double, double. We repeat, double, double. So yeah, we put the 200 in there. If this hits, then we get 30. So it'll be up $5. Oof. Oof. Not a good way to start out. Oof. Let's, uh, let's go for broke here. This could turn out really well or really poorly. We'll see right now. I think I'll have to come back in a second. So yeah, we've got, uh, what is that, $160 bet. Pays up $240. That'll put us up uh, $55. Oof. I don't know. Again, this is our first time here. Come on. Oh. 18, there we go. And look at that. The winning number is 175 plus. We get it back. We get back that back. 255 bucks. That's $55 so right there. Pretty simple way to get that money. I put in 200, took out 255. Move on. $55 on. So I've determined that the optimal amount for this machine is to have $300 in for the doubling. So again, we're starting over again. Same machine I just played out before, but this is the logic. Should hit some. Nice and low. There we go. $2.50. I'll take it. 
I think. Let's repeat that last step. Again, you want to start as low as humanly possible, and then go up incrementally. You actually only have to do a single double the first time, but if you go on, it will get bigger, it will multiply, and uh, again, we started at 300 there. We'll see where we cash out in this set. So I'm still playing here. I got tired of the, of the 50 cents showing up there, so I went up to $3 here for each bet. Uh, this is the second set I'm playing. I'm at 331 plus like 337. I'm gonna play, again, I put in three. So um, I'm gonna play it up to about 360 or so. And uh, I'll, I'll talk about what I made overall here. There we go, that's a good win. Again, you make three dollars on that. If it's three and three, you're getting it back plus one. So let's repeat that again. And it's easy enough. All right. So this is a kind of big one. I uh, went a little too big, but we'll see. Uh, 80, 80. So I put in 300. This is going to pay out 240 plus 135. That's 375. That will get me up 25 percent of the hits. 63.1 percent chance of hitting, and it missed. The winning number is 32 red even. So that's a good hit. Holy shit. Woo! I'll take that back. Cash out. I did have to put in another hundred dollars there because uh, stuff got big. So I put in four hundred and I'm cashing out uh, four ninety-five. Holy crap. That was tight. I actually did the math wrong there. I think I throw in an extra two hundred dollars there. So I'm down $15, well, down $5 there. Uh, but I gotta try and make it back. So now that I've got more money in the machine, I can play $5 on each of them, and then I'm increasing $5 each time. So if this hits, then I'm gonna be even. And then I'm playing for more money. And this is the way this game works. It's a, you can't beat roulette. I think that's the important thing. Yeah, I put in $200 bills. I can go back, this is why I have the tape. Um, so I put in $200 bills. So right now I'm $5 down. And depending on what it hit there, oh, okay. There you go. I'm back even. Oh, should I get out even? Nah, I'm a degenerate. Let's play some more. So again, we're going up by five dollars now instead of two fifty. So we've gone up bigger, and that's because I don't want to be here all day. But <laughs> had a bad run there with uh, 32, 35, 25, 34. Yeah, bad run there. Just be aware. All right, so it is 2 a.m. in the morning, and I'm leaving Harrah's. Um, I had two sessions in there with roulette. Uh, the second one was a bit more painful than the first one. Uh, the first one I made 25% on really relatively quickly, put in $200, uh, got out $255. Then I got in a really bad run, put in $500, and eventually got out $575. I did get some free drinks. While I was there, let me see if that'll balance there. Oh, that's a pretty good lighting. Uh, I did get some free drinks while I was there, but uh, oh, that's very high. Let me see if this is a little, a little more stable. No, I don't like to leave that there. Uh, but I'm up $105. Um, again, I, I risked some money to get this, but I know this game well enough. I switched. I was having kind of a shitty run doing the uh, double, double um, dozen. So I switched to a Martingale for a while, just on red. Did well, red was in a good streak. So I went back to double, double dozen. I'm up, uh, again, I'm up and $115 so far. Not an hour, but I've been playing overall. I got uh, four free drinks, tipped about $10 total. The rum and Cokes flow very freely at the Harris right there. But there's a casino that's on the strip. You see, here's the Mirage. That is soon going to be gone, and there'll be a giant hotel. Not a hotel. That's gonna, there's already a giant hotel. There'll be a giant guitar in its place. That's where the Mirage Volcano Show is. I got in a little too late to the Mirage Volcano Show tonight, but there's still an independent casino, well, called Casino Royale. It's actually a Best Western, but they've gotten there a 24-hour, um, what's it called? 
24 hour white castle which i love they got a hot dog place that used to be a dollar then uh by inflation hit uh, and they got some roulette and a good players club and all that so yeah the thing is you want to collect your pokemon cards your players cards i'm still up 110 bucks didn't lose anything getting drunk for free i'm gonna probably go this way this is where i'm gonna stop today and then i'm gonna go back hit the flamingo hit the cromwell and then probably go to ellis island for a nightcap because i really like their beer plus it's free while you're playing so I'm going to jump in here and uh, take you to the glasses if we get anything going on, but up $115 so far, and I was very heavy on the tip because she was very heavy on the pour. Uh, rum and Coke is what I'm drinking. Not specifying the rum, but it tastes good. So I got uh, $20 in free play added to my I hate playing slots uh, because it's available for download now. So I'm going to download it, and we'll see what money we can get out here and take it back to roulette and play, but yeah. Player playback rewards. Cool. Okay. Yeah, that happened. Stay in the game longer. Keep playing to earn more rewards. Yeah. Okay. I'll have to figure this one out. Maybe I'll play a different game. Alright, so when you're playing cop money, what you want to do? You want to play the minimum and then you just cash out. So that was a 75 cent bat. And I think I won. Maybe 50 cents on it? Yeah. But I've got a couple of these. You just pound them together and hopefully we get back to 20 bucks. That's the hope. But you can't cash out the free play. I do love the little shop, the little shop of ours. Oh, it's wild. Feed me. Oh, did I get something? No. Uh oh. Little shop. Again, I want to every so often just cash out. So I get the real cash out of there, because that's how you play with free money. Yeah, you're just using other people's money. Oh, look. It's, it's going all crazy about 20 cents. Audrey's getting crazy there. Just want to make sure you... So I played uh, $40 through, and at the end of the day, what do I have to show for it? $6. So I've essentially lost $14. The good news is they've got roulette here. So I just have to make $14 on this real quick. I'm probably, yeah, I'm gonna have to add some money. Uh, but uh, we'll, we'll make $14 uh, pretty quick work. You could not have played the $20 promotion there. So again, we're gonna have 100 and see what the minimum is here. This is kind of off the strip, so it's probably, I mean, it's on the strip, but it's a lower end casino, so it probably has a lower, um, Lower total bet. Let's change the screen. Mm. Can I really do? Oh, okay. There we go. All right. Let's see what we can do here. Then we're gonna play the double dozen strategy here. There's a whole separate game. All right. So I think I played this up to 155. Uh, that's 35 dollars up. Let's hit cash out, because I put 20 bucks in, I put 100 bucks in. Crazy numbers, but uh, yeah, I'll take that. Plus 55. All right, so it is uh, 3 a.m. I'm ending the night at a White Castle. This is actually inside of a casino. I got two uh, jalapeno, jalapeno cheese double cheeseburgers. Um, what I've done is I've taken my baseline cash, my baseline hundreds, and uh, I'm trying to not get trying to not get any hundreds here to keep them confused. But I've still got my 2,500 in baseline hundreds here. here. So I'm gonna put those away. This is a white castle, and let's see what we profited for the night. Again, the goal is. I'm taking hundreds, uh, taking, I might have to put in one, two, three hundred, uh, twenty, here. Oh. Twenty, forty, let's see. One, twenty, forty, that's one forty, fifty, one sixty, one seventy, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One seventy. 
is our profit for tonight. Now, I want to be very clear. I took out of this the, um, the White Castle. Not the White Castle. I mean, I took out the White Castle, too. I took out of this the... Uh, in and out from earlier, I took the tips that I've been giving the people from everything. So, you know, I've got 177 in profit tonight, messing around. I remember that. Kirsten just texted me a few minutes ago. She's about to get on her airplane. She's not very happy I'm still up. She's like, you're going to be all tired tomorrow. She's not wrong. But this is Richard from No Pants Puppets. Eating his. Mm. Mm. Nice jalapeno cheeseburger. That's spicy. Uh, $177. Still with uh, all my initial investment capital. Reminding you that spice. It's actually spicier than the twice as hot as goat pepper chocolates a while ago. Um, that when you wear no pants, the only thing you have left to lose is your shirt. And some good news for all of you here. In about, what was it? About six hours my time. But next episode, your time. Person will be here. We're going to go explore the strip, check out some Disney stuff and all that. So stick around. This is night one. Maybe. Night point five. Could be part of day one. But next video, you see? Day one gets started. And Kirsten comes along for the ride. So don't miss out. I remember. Off, when you're off $177 and that'll pay for a show tomorrow, food tomorrow, and you're in no pants. The only thing you'll have to lose is your shirt. Bye!